Joy Green. Falcons fans, I'm Britton Lynn, one of your Taco Mac Insider finalists, and today we're here with middle linebacker Curtis Lofton. How are you today? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Good. Nice to have you here with us. Thank you. I'm a little nervous. Are you nervous? <laughs> good. <laughs> okay, good. Talk about the strength of the team, maybe what you've seen in the offseason, and uh, what fans should expect for this next year. I would say the strength of the team is definitely that uh, we have a great chemistry. All the guys, we have about 95% of the guys in, and we just get along and love to play jokes, and uh, we go and bowling and stuff, and you take that chemistry that you build right now and you apply it during the season, and that's going to take us uh, hopefully to the playoffs. Speaking of chemistry, how would you rate Matt Ryan, Michael Turner, and Roddy White as an offensive trio? Like on a scale from one to ten, or just mm -hmm. versus the NFL? One to ten. I would give him a ten. You know, but Matt, with I'll start with Mike Turner, man. That guy's big, and I I hate hitting him in practice. And then you got Matt Ryan. I mean, he's just so smart, and he's like a surgeon out there. And then you got Roddy White. I mean, he's fast, can do everything you need out of a receiver. You might already know about this, but back in 1977, the Atlanta Falcons defense set a record for the fewest amount of points allowed on a defense. They were given the nickname, the Grit Splits, and it was like a record that's still around for a 14-game season. Do you think that possibly this upcoming year there could be an updated version of the Grit Splits and the defense? I mean, I would love that. I mean, that's awesome. I didn't know that, actually. I mean, as a defense, you don't want anybody to score on you. You don't definitely don't want anybody to run the ball on you. And uh, we're starting to get that mindset. And <clears throat> I mean, the future is bright for us as a defense. All right. One, speaking of defense, um, one of the keys to the Super Bowl reigning chance Saints was their opportunistic defense. Do you think that's something that a lot of the NFC teams are going to start to do this next season? Well, I, th I think the Saints defense did a great job of getting turnovers that led to a great field position for the offense to put in points because most times uh, other defensives couldn't stop their offense. So if you get them within 10 yards, this, it was really easy for them to score. And so as a defense, you know, if you get turnovers and uh, get the ball back, I mean, you're uh, more apt to win the game. Is there anything specifically from them that you would like to steal and work on a little bit more? No, I'm not a big Saints fan. I don't like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, want, I don't want anything they did to rub off on us. We have to do it the Falcon way, and that's going to be the best way. So then will the Atlanta Falcons knock off the Saints to top off the NFC South next year? Yes. Yeah. How are you guys going to do that? Okay, let me look into the camera and say that. Yes, we will knock off the Saints. <laughs> um, you know, it's just going to be a team effort. Offense, I mean, we can't have anybody get hurt. Like last year, we kind of got bit by the injury bug. And as a defense, you know, you can't keep giving up those third downs and letting them run the ball on us. And so we just got to put together as a team, and we'll be all right. Now, on a single-player basis, who do you think is the fastest player on the team? You're looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with uh, Harry Douglas. I mean, that guy, he gets on the field. I don't know what it is, but, I mean, he's smoking. I mean, a close second would probably be uh, Roddy White. And coming in near the last, Mike Turner. But you're the first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, now on the other side of things, who's the guy y'all kind of rag on a little bit? A little bit on the slow side. Obi Mahaley. Everyone likes to joke on him. And, you know, it's, <clears throat> Obi always throws his punches and got jokes, and everyone usually, like, jokes with him. All right. Now, for some sports fans, Mike's Smith flew under the radar in 2008 to become one of the top NFL coaches. Talk about what it's like to play for him and how he's different than other coaches. Well, Smitty, I mean, I think Smitty just has a great understanding for what the players go through during the season. And everyone, uh, I guess you could say he's a player's coach. I mean, he's going to do whatever is best for the players, us players. And, I mean, I love having him. And, I mean, he also likes to joke, too, so that's good and a coach, head coach.
Are there any jokes of his you can remember off the top of your head? Nah, not off the top of my head. Not off the top of my head. <clears throat> okay, well, what's the best part about being an Atlanta Falcon? Best part, I mean, it, it just it starts with Arthur Blank. He's one of the great owners. I mean, we got a great coaching staff, and then it's our fans. I mean, everyone here, I mean, they're Falcons fans, and, you know, they're just really passionate about their football, and it's a football city, and I love being here. Who's your favorite Falcons player of all time? Jesse Toe. Yeah. Why? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I kind of, some people compare us, and, you know, he was a little guy that came in, he played in the middle, you know, and he loved to smack people out, knock people out, and, you know, that's kind of who I try to model myself after, and uh, I would love to be able to be mentioned in the same sentence as him. What do you think the Falcons need to do to be a perennial Super Bowl contender in 2010? Hmm, dang, that's some tough questions. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it just starts, like I said, it's going to start with, on the defensive side. If no one's scoring points and then the offense scoring points, you know, it's just going to take us to play all together, play as a team, and hopefully get to the Super Bowl. Okay, well, tough questions are over. I'm sure you get a lot of questions about your on-the-field performance, but I know these fans, as well as myself, would love to get to know you in other ways. But will you talk to us a little bit about what it was like as a rookie coming to training camp? What did the veterans make you do? What was the craziest thing they had you do? Man, training camp was horrible as a rookie. I remember <laughs> coming in and... I came from Oklahoma where, you know, you're the big dog and you don't have to do anything anybody else wants you to do. And I remember mean, Brooklyn was like, hey, Rook, go get me a Gatorade. I'm like, well, Gatorade stands right there. You go get your own Gatorade. And then, so I got him a Gatorade. And he said, take it back. It's the wrong flavor. So I'd go get him a different flavor. <laughs> and then after practice, man, we sometimes Coach Lester take our pads off and all the linebackers stole their pads to the side and I had to carry every single body, every every single pad in and put it in their locker and I hated doing that. And then just coming in as a middle linebacker, you know, that's considered like a leadership role. And I mean, I walked into the huddle and I got guys 10 years older than me and I'm supposed to tell these guys what to do. And so that kind of took a little while to get used to. And I mean, I was kind of starstruck myself. And uh, after I got over that, you know, I just felt I fit right into the position and I was ready to go. Are you going to be making any of the rookies coming in do a few of those things this summer? Oh, yeah, it's a rite of passage. you got to go through that first before you can be considered on the team. So I'm going to do my fair share of that. <laughs> what was your first experience with organized sports? Um, I would probably say in third grade I, I started uh, playing basketball and we would go to practice. And we have this little line and we have to make, I think there's about 12 of us. We'll all get in the line. If we made 12 uh, laps in a row, we could start practice. And I was always at the end. <laughs> and every time I would go, I couldn't make the layup. They'd be like, ah, oh, come on, Curtis, come on, Curtis. Boom, off the rim. And so just, that was probably my first experience with organized sports. So it wasn't football? No. So why did you end up doing football instead? Well, I don't know too many six foot, 245 pound players in the NBA. So I thought football would be the way to go. <laughs> All right, well, good choice. We're glad to have you here. But um, talk, if your high school coach was sitting right here with us, tell me the first thing he would say about you. Oh, if my high school coach was sitting right there, he'd probably say, uh, you got to watch out for me because I like to play jokes. Oh, what are some jokes you've played on the player, your teammates? Uh, we, I can't, we can't talk about that. We can't talk about that. <laughs> okay, another time. <laughs> um, What's it like playing up against your old college teammates in the NFL? Is that weird, playing against someone that used to have your back? Not at all, especially at the offensive guys, because in practice you couldn't hit them. <laughs> and so in practice, then like you get on the, into the cab, they'd be talking to us, oh, I would have ran you over, I would have ran you over. And, and so like uh, I remember two years ago, we got to play against Adrian, and in practice you could not touch him. <laughs> and so when we played him, I got my fair share of hits on him. Well, speaking of offensive players in college that you like to hit, Sam Bradford draft is coming up. What do you think is his best quality that will help him the most in the NFL? I mean, I, I would say he's smart. As a quarterback, you got to be able to read defenses and get the ball out quick, and I think Sam does a great job of doing that. Okay, last one. 
Everyone has a college fight song. Do you care to sing a few bars of it for us? Let me warm up. I just have my limp. <clears throat> <laughs> boomer suit, boomer suit. That's another fine guy. <laughs> okay, well, it's been great talking to you today, Curtis. But for ElenaFalcons.com, I'm one of your Taco Mac Insider finalists, Britton Lynn. Make sure to vote for me online on the Falcons webpage throughout the week.